represents kind of the, the, the strong, very strong people-to-people -people ties that we have with India as a nation. And Prime Minister Harper says that the diversity in this country is one of our greatest strengths in this globalized world. And it really is those people-to-people -people ties that are helping us to build a stronger relationship with the country of India. A relationship that has not been this strong ever in Canada's history. Where we will go from about $5 billion of two-way trade between Canada and India and make that triple it to over $15 billion in the next few years. And so we uh, welcome and look forward to Prime Minister Modi's visit to Canada and work to increase and build that relationship, not only on an economic front, but also culturally and socially, where we can have Canadians of Indian descent, diaspora, helping to build that relationship. So once again, congratulations. Thank you to all the volunteers all the sponsors, everyone that uh, has come together to put on this great show. To take the opportunity to uh, wish Council of India Society uh, a very, very happy Republic Day and all of the uh, individuals who are here have been doing such a fantastic job for the last 30 years. Congratulations everyone, all the award recipients and of course Niru Ladwa, the President of Council of India Societies and his leadership doing such a phenomenal job. colleague Naresh on behalf of Premier Prentice. Happy India Day. It's indeed a privilege to be here as the MLA from Glenora and Minister of Human Services. Thank you so much. पहले सब वतन टीवी सुनने वालों को मेरी जानिब से बहुत-बहुत सलाम नमस्कार सत श्री अकाल आदाब आज आपको जैसे पता है कि यहां पर हम इंडिया डे सेलिब्रेशन कर रहे हैं एंड व्हाट इज अ वे टू सेलिब्रेट जो इंडिया काउंसिल ऑफ सोसाइटी करती है टू रिकॉग्नाइज द यूथ ऑफ आवर कम्युनिटी हु हैव एक्सेल्ड द एक्सीलेंस एंड दैट इज अ ग्रेट वे टू सेलिब्रेट एज द स्पीकर मेंशन टुडे व्हाट इज अ रेसिपी ऑफ सक्सेस दैट इंडिया हैव अचीव बाय देयर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द सक्सेस you know they have a road map to success today nobody can even doubt that india is the biggest democracy is the biggest market in the world and unnati jo hai uske alawa ha kuch aur nahi ho sakta to jai hind god bless canada thank you so much i am chandramauli i am counsel uh, from the indian consulate in vancouver i have come here to edmonton to specifically to participate in uh, the india day celebrations being organized here in edmonton by the council of india societies of edmonton I have been here uh, for the past two hours. It has been a fabulous program. Uh, through this media, I convey my best wishes uh, on behalf of the Government of India and the Consulate General of India in Vancouver to all the Indian diaspora, not only in Edmonton, not only in Alberta, not only in Western Canada, but the entire uh, Canada as a whole. Uh, our best wishes. Um, it, uh, it has been 65 years since uh, India became a republic. And uh, we recently celebrated the 66th uh, Republic Day of India when all of you know uh, the President of uh, the United States, uh, Barack Obama, was the chief guest. And um, uh, the Prime Minister of India, uh, Honorable uh, Narendra Modi, is scheduled to visit Canada. And uh, it is likely that uh, he will uh, visit uh, the western part of Canada as well. And uh, we look forward to have uh, more interactions uh, with the Indian community here. Um, and uh, during Pro uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit as well. Uh, I extend uh, once again our warm felicitations and uh, greetings to the vast Indian diaspora. Uh, there are about uh, half a million um, Indians here in the uh, western part of Canada and we are very happy to represent them and to serve them. 
uh, we will continue to serve them uh, to the best of our abilities. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the Jubilee Auditorium today to celebrate India's Republic Day. As you can see behind me, we have a very large gathering and uh, some of the dances and performances has been awesome. And a whole bunch of children received the Honors Award, Excellence Award, and Distinctive Achievement Award. You've heard lots of great things about India, and, and I recall tonight I was remembering my grandfather telling me the stories of the struggle for freedom. There was suffering, there was hope, there was optimism, and, and really they were struggling for something that was greater than themselves. Not just freedom, not just democracy, really the suffering and struggle that our ancestors had was really so that their descendants, us, we would have a better opportunity and a better life in, other, in India and in other parts of the world. And really the struggle was about the ability to tell the story of a, such a rich culture that's thousands of years old. And it was about peace, tolerance, and love, and about human dignity and respect, values of family, of looking after children and passing on those lessons, and really respecting your elders and your parents. That's what India Day is about. When I came to this country in 1972, uh, my grandfather came in 1976, or 1906, I want to acknowledge the sacrifices of the freedom fighters, those in the Gadar movement, those in the Komagata Maru that challenged laws in this country at that time that required courage as well. On behalf of Council of India Societies and its 21 affiliated association, I'm really excited over here. We are enjoying celebrating our 66th Republic Day. We have thousands of people over here and we have a number of dignitaries, Minister of State and Culture, Honorable Tim Apple. We have uh, Mr. Naresh Bhardwaj. We have uh, Amajit Sohi. We have Peter Sandhu. We have uh, Consul General from Vancouver, Mr. Chandra Moli. And we have lots and lots of people who are devoted time to make this event successful by giving much of their time in participating in this function. Well, best wishes to our entire Indian community, not only in Edmonton, but throughout Alberta and throughout Canada on India Day. It's such an important day, uh, not only to India, but to the rest of the world. Gaining your independence and becoming an international powerhouse, culturally, economically, academically, is not only important to India, but it's important to us right here in Canada. So all the best to all Indians throughout the entire world, and God bless you all.